I mean, we're looking at average EVs around 90, 91 miles an hour between both levels. I really like to see that. And again, he's topped out at 109 last year. So it's not like big high index of velocities with Holiday. But I do look at the profile and think, okay, like I think this profile could work power wise. Hard hit rates were consistently good in the majors, 45%. In the minors, 47.4%. Yeah. I mean, I'm looking at Jackson Holiday and saying, like, there's some underappreciated power here in the profile. But here's the issue. A lot of ground balls. So he struggled to get to the power in game because he put the ball on the ground at a 56% clip in the majors. The sweet spot rate, really low. Sweet spot is batted balls between 10 and 35 degrees. That is the ideal place to create barrels. So Holiday's sweet spot rate in the majors, 23.7%, not good at all. Sweet spot percent in AAA, 32.8%. It's better, but it's still low. And the ground ball rate against AAA pitching was 48%. So those are numbers that we'd like to see improve. I mean, his swing is more conducive to ground balls right now, but when Holiday gets the ball in the air, he does damage. Average EV on fly balls last year, 94 miles an hour. That'll play. Average EV on line drives last year, 96 miles an hour. Again, those numbers will play. Here's where he really does damage, though. Pooled fly ball exit velocities. The pooled fly ball EVs for Jackson Holiday are incredible. On his pooled fly balls, he averaged 100 miles an hour. Average exit velocity. That is a really high-end mark. Like, when we're looking at pooled fly balls, that is spectacular, especially for somebody who's 20 years old. 